Hello, welcome to another live broadcast. I'm Jason from septictank.co.uk. Or if you want to see more of me and you want more free videos, live broadcasts like this one, just go to Google and type in septic tank TV. So, what is retrospective planning approval for septic tanks? Well, if you're a septic tank owner, then from the 1st of January 2020, your whole life is going to change regarding your septic tank and the rules and regulations, right? that will affect you so what is retrospective planning approval well it basically means that this right it's a new law that came out literally a few days ago and it now puts the power of failing or approving septic tanks in the hands of local building control so whatever county you live in right they now will decide whether to fail or approve your septic tank right so from the 1st of January 2020, all septic tanks that were installed, all septic tanks installed before the 1st of Jan, 2015 must now be approved must now be approved by local building control okay so that means after the 1st of January everyone all septic tank owners must apply for retrospective planning approval for septic tanks okay so if you're looking at this on the internet make sure you put septic tanks on the end so type in retrospective planning for septic tanks retrospective planning for septic tanks all right so I've just abbreviated there because I can't be bothered to write it all out. But the point is, from the 1st of January 2020, all septic tanks installed before the 1st of January 2015 must now be approved by local building control. Right? All septic tank owners must apply for retrospe retrospective planning approval. Now, just because you apply for planning approval doesn't mean that you'll be approved, right? So it will cost you... 350 quid to apply all right 350 quid to apply there's going to be two outcomes your septic tank will either fail or it will be approved one of the two <clears throat> it depends on various factors whether your septic tank smells it can be failed for that. Your septic tank can be failed if it's leaking. Your septic tank can be failed if it's blocked. It can be failed if it's in a bad state of repair, i.e. bricks are coming out. If the, if, the, if the fiberglass tank is cracked, if there's cracks in the shell. Or the, so there's many, many reason, reasons why it could fail. So you still got to apply. If it fails, <clears throat> then you'll be asked to stop using the tank and um, you'll have to find some alternative means to, to get by during that time or they give you a time period. Uh, basically, if it fails, you'll have to install a new septic tank and soak away system. And the prices people are ringing me up and quoting at the moment, being quoted, is 15 to 25,000 quid. Now that may sound excessive and silly to you, but you wait until you start getting some quotes. So. If you've got a five, six bedroom house, seven bedroom house, whatever, and uh, most of the quotes people are quoting for now, companies are quoting for biodigesters. They're not cheap. Someone just rang me up saying they've been quoted 16,000 quid. So that's basically your option if you fail. If you're approved, all well and good, but the ones who are generally going to be improved are the ones who've put the tanks in in the last couple of years and needed planning approval anyway. All right, so there's one more option that you can go another one more route you can go down one more option 
you can look at to getting your septic tank made legal. And it's called a septic tank converter. And basically, these are, these are uh, converters that fit onto your septic tank. They like retrofit, if you want to call it that, onto your septic tank. And they convert it into a biodigester. But instead of having to spend 16, 20,000 quid out, they cost 2,999. Uh, they're called the ecosystem. If you want to know what they're actually called, they're called an ecosystem septic tank converter. And it'll save you thousands of pounds and it'll make your septic tank. It will, the point, whole point you'll put it in is because you'll get a big fat green tick of approval right if you put one of these in and so when you have to spend your 350 quid out for retrospective planning approval for septic tanks by putting a septic tank converter in 99.9 .9 percent chance you get a big green tick of approval right i can't say 100 percent because i don't know what's in the mind of the planning control officer right <laughs> because you basically in a lot of instances it'll be based on his whim not that i'm demonizing building control officers. I'm just saying sometimes you get diehard old traditionalist ones and want it done in a particular way, want a particular color, want it in a particular place. And so, you know, but the point is nine times out of 10, if you put one of these government approved uh, ecosystem septic tank converters in, you'll bypass all the legal wranglings and red tape and fines and prosecutions that are coming literally in a few months time. So I hope this live broadcast has helped. As I said, if you want to see more of me, then just go to Septic Tank TV. If you want free help and advice, then just go to septictank.co.uk. Give me a ring, and I look forward to speaking to you soon.